Elon Musk once said that one day, all transportation will be electric, except for rockets. Yes, that even includes airplanes, which have long been on his list of things to electrify. The Tesla CEO first floated the idea in an interview in September 2018. But is this the next airplane of Tesla the solution for many environmental problems and sustainability? That is what we will discover on this video. Make sure to watch until the end of the video because we got some curious facts about the electric airplane. Also, before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like to support our community. Now, let's hop on the video. But what are actually the plans Musk have for aviation industry? Musk noted in 2018 that cars and clean energy were both bigger priorities than aviation, and it's easy to see why. Aviation only accounted for around 2.4% of global carbon dioxide emissions in 2018, according to the Environmental and Energy Study Institute. But the World Resources Institute found that transport accounted for around 24% of carbon dioxide emissions in 2016, and around 72% of transport emissions come from roads. Getting fossil fuel cars off the road makes sense as Tesla's current focus, but with Musk displaying a slight at Tesla's recent battery day, encompassing all forms of global energy use, the firm seems to have much grander goals in mind. The idea that Elon Musk presented is both simple and incredibly daring. It entails creating airplanes that would function with the help of batteries. For now, the fuel that is used for jets is undeniably stronger and has better density, but if batteries could be improved, huge amounts of energy would be saved. The reason for it is very simple. Electric motors are considerably lighter in terms of their weight, and they have a better possibility to convert the energy and make the plane move more quickly and smoothly. In Musk's mind, his plane would be capable of performing a vertical takeoff as well as landing despite the high speed with which all aircraft tend to move it makes it fall into the VTOL model category. The new aircraft would also meet all universal guidelines, possibly replacing some other modes of transport we are currently using. As Musk puts it, the world already has almost everything it needs for making his idea come to life, the only thing that requires improvement is batteries. Difference between traditional and electric planes. I in the United States, aircraft emissions are unregulated, and industry leaders as well as politicians have long fought participation in international emission reduction schemes. But big changes are around the corner. This year, the Environmental Protection Agency announced it is going to study aircraft emissions to determine whether they are a risk to public health or the environment and potentially move to regulate them. Reducing emissions could be as simple as improving flight path efficiency and fuel burn. These two factors alone would result in carbon-neutral growth in America by 2020 and save 1.4 billion gallons of fuel. Technological advances in electric-powered flight today will not only make the act of flying cheaper for you. Crucially, they also promise to revolutionize how the aeronautics industry impacts the global environment. Airplanes release around 500 million tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere each year, representing a significant contribution to global warming. Electric flight replaces petrochemical consumption with cleaner, battery-powered electricity. In 20 years, you will most likely be able to buy a ticket for a flight on an electric airplane, capable of commuting 100 passengers. Today's batteries allow us, with the most advanced car or the most advanced plane, a range of about 400 kilometers explained Ullman. In five years, we will have double capacity. In 10 years, some scientists speak about 10 times more capacity. The problems of electric flights. Despite having a clear idea of what Tesla aircraft is going to look like, Musk isn't making any promises. As he himself admits, there are some technical difficulties with implementing this plan. Meeting international safety requirements is a complex task, so numerous talented engineers and researchers will be needed. The modern batteries still lack the required energy density, and without it, nothing will happen. One of the biggest barriers to create a plane are the batteries. Even though batteries are powerful they can only store a limited supply of energy. Unlike fuels that you can transport and transfer in a very limited time it is just not possible with electricity. Tesla's Battery Day event last month gave some clarity on a way forward for the project. One of the biggest hurdles, outlined by Musk in September 2018, is creating a battery with enough energy density to enable a plane to take off. While the Tesla Model 3 has a battery somewhere around 250 watt-hours per kilogram, Musk suggested an electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle would require around 400 watt-hours per kilogram. The ideal figure would be somewhere around 500 watt-hours per kilogram. Before we continue please leave a like, 
if you are enjoying the video and subscribe to our channel to support our community. We also love to hear back from you so leave a comment down below what you are thinking of this video. Solutions. In order for electric flight to really take off and become mainstream in both commercial and recreational markets, it needs better batteries. Other industries have replaced traditional lead-acid batteries with lithium-ion batteries, which now power most of our laptops, phones, and electric cars. But in order to be aviation compatible, the next generation of batteries needs to deliver a whopping amount of power while being simultaneously smaller, safer, and lighter than lithium-ion ones. Scientists like Dr. Kichau who are already working to solve this riddle. Whose invention? A polymer ionic liquid developed in a laboratory at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology can make batteries that hold double the energy of the lithium-ion kind in your smartphone. The main application was cell phones and electric vehicles, said Hu of his invention. But it turned out that aeronautics is an interesting application. If we can make the batteries lighter, then we can increase the energy savings and flying range of airplanes. Planes like the Taurus G4, made by Slovenian airplane manufacturer Pipistrel, have already proved that electric planes are not just green and cheap, but can also perform better. Taurus needs less runway to take off and climbs faster than the same model that relies on fuel. And because electric planes are nearly silent, they have the potential to be flown and landed near dwellings and businesses. These facts mean that in a couple generations, teenagers could be getting a pilot's license rather than a driver's license and landing their small aircraft in a high school parking lot. Final thoughts. Musk's latest comments suggest he's still interested in an electric jet. In reality, it's probably not going to arrive for a very long time, and it's unclear whether the electric car company Tesla would go as far as to enter the aviation business itself. Musk noted in 2018 that cars and clean energy were both bigger priorities than aviation, and it's easy to see why. Aviation only accounted for around 2.4% of global carbon dioxide emissions in 2018, according to the Environmental and Energy Study Institute. But the World Resources Institute found that transport accounted for around 24% of carbon dioxide emissions in 2016, and around 72% of transport emissions come from Don't forget to watch our recent videos. They will definitely cure your boredom. Always subscribe our channel if you want to see more daily videos like this hope to see you on the next